Last month, my mom invited me to a small village in Tangamus. I couldn't tell you exactly where it was because even Google Map could not detect the position. Then, after a five hours trip, we arrived in a small wooden house that looked so unique. Frankly, I felt peace because the place was so clean, the air was fresh, and the people were friendly. I was amazed by how the people really upheld respect. My mom told me that this is part of culture. I kept questioning, how could it be so different from people in the city? But my mom said, you will learn and you should learn. Good morning, all regards to educators, fellow internet, and all the committee members. My name is Safa Zahra. I'm from Darul Fatah Quranic Senior High School, Lampung. And today, I will speak on culture is the identity of a nation and must be protected. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, I was born from a Lampungnis family, a family where culture is really crucial, a family where PL is number one. My mom told me that woman is like a seeger. She is the queen of a family, she is a dignity, and she is a pride. Therefore, I am so protected. However, there are so many limitations given not to do A or B. I knew that they are for the sake of my protections and happiness. But it is hard for a teenager like me to obey all the old-fashioned rules. See, I couldn't go out in, with my friends after school. I couldn't go snacking in the cafe, and I have to always, always keep my attitude in front of my family. I don't have a chance to be myself, to enjoy my teenage dreams. As a teenager, this culture was very restrictive, even though I knew it was intended to protect me. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes I like debating with my mom for blaming me not speaking Lampungnis with the elders. Some more, she punished me after mentioning impolite and rude English words. She told me that even if, yes, you are living in more modern life, where everything is instant, where to be labeled as a multilingual or bilingual is something to be proud of, you should not forget our lampungness. As a young generation, you are the agent and the keeper of our culture. You have big responsibilities to preserve and keep our culture from extinction. Language is part of culture. Culture divides our dignity and existence. Once you forget, once they will be extinct. Don't be like T-Rex and other dinosaurs because only their names are remain. Ladies and gentlemen, a day after her words, I googled, scrolled, and read many articles. I was shocked that it is not only Lampungnis language is about to extinct and fade it away. Based on a research of Indonesian Institute of Science last 2020, there were more than 100 languages is, is extinct and faded. They slowly disappeared, lost the importance, or became weaker as the years passed. Ladies and gentlemen, talking about culture, we talk about ideas values and habits inherited from time to time. Our parents believe that those words came from ancestors and should be preserved to humanize the human. We believe that there is no single telescope or even microscope to see how deep we understand the culture. And we believe that there is no perfect medicine to boost your culture understanding. Mahatma Gandhi told us that put those culture deeper into our mind, heart, and soul, then it will last forever. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps there are so many solutions elaborated in such the research conducted and articles written by many experts. However, as a young generation, there are some small actions that have big impact that we can do to preserve our culture. The first is commit to use it. Perhaps one of the most important things a group's families 
or individuals can do is insist on speaking their native language and spare some time to learn about their traditional language and practice with their family or with the elders. Because language is the only way that we can reconnect with our culture. And the second is roaming it around. After being able to use it, we need to roam it around. We can use our traditional language in, with our family, in our neighborhood, or even with our friends. Or we can create a platform where people can practicing their traditional language. Ladies and gentlemen, to sum up, culture is like a clock that moves beautifully to sign the life, the struggle, and the opportunity. Once the clock stops, there will be no more humanity. Perhaps the solution are too simple, but trust me, it works. Thank you for your attention. Have a good day.